and Houston, Columbia. This is a view shot from W7 uh, by Taco during the sort of the middle to final stage of the approach. Copy, Tom. This is Mission Control Houston. This is a tape playback uh, from Columbia of a video from a camera at the end of Columbia's mechanical arm uh, of the capture of the Wake Shield facility satellite, uh, that occurring at 8.01 p.m. this evening. In view uh, now is the uh, capture fixture on the satellite. Again, uh, this uh, taking place, uh, the capture occurred at 8.01 p.m. Central Time.
in view now the end of the shuttle's mechanical arm as it uh, latches onto the grapple fixture for the wake shield. Copy, Taco. This is Mission Control Houston. This television is showing a uh, berthing of the Wake Shield facility that uh, take, took place uh, about an hour and a half ago. This is a uh, videotape being played uh, back to the ground from uh, the shuttle Columbia. Again, the Wake Shield facility was uh, retrieved, uh, captured uh, using the mechanical arm by astronaut Tom Jones aboard Columbia at 8.01 p.m. Central Time. All activities with the rendezvous and retrieval of the Wake Shield uh, went uh, just as planned as a Commander Ken Cockrell flawlessly uh, flew Columbia to within the reach of the satellite. All of that uh, going uh, just as scheduled. Columbia, Houston, uh, we know that was... Going to uh, change tapes now. Copy. Uh, we know it was a replay, but uh, it certainly looked great seeing it for the first time down here on the gr ground. Once again, great job uh, flying around and going in and capturing uh, the free flyer. Oh, thank you very much, and it was a lot of fun for us, too. Good morning, uh, Columbia. Uh, we'd like to start off with a congratulations to Story, who now has passed 1,001 hours in the space shuttle, starting on his uh, 1,000 second. Uh, you're currently um, 20 miles ahead of the Wake Shield, and the distance between Wake Shield and Spas is 15.7, so uh, we're looking forward to a good rendezvous today. Let the good times roll.
Well, the story is looking marvelous for a 1,001-hour space traveler. And we are ready for, to let the good times roll, too. We've got the uh, tips messages starting to come on board, and we'll talk to you about them shortly. And we copy, Taco. Uh, we, we should have, uh, you should have three messages on board. Uh, we would like to verify that you did a tips paper change out yesterday. Uh, if not, we would like one before resuming tips uplink. We did the change out free sleep yesterday, so proceed. And work. Columbia, Houston for Tammy. Go ahead, Houston. Yes, Tammy. Uh, we know that uh, earlier today, Story passed the 1,000-hour threshold in space. Uh, but we'd also like to point out, in case you'd forgotten it, that uh, you also crossed that threshold today. At, uh, to be precise, six days three hours, 35 minutes, and 47 seconds. Congratulations. Hey, Mark, thanks a lot. We actually got a nice message on board from Jeff Hoffman and Franklin Chang, who've also done the same to Story and I, so we appreciate those nice words. Thanks. You're welcome. This is Mission Control Houston. As Columbia soars over the Pacific Ocean, uh, these views of the Hawaiian Islands from an altitude of 221 statute miles. story uh, we had the good fortune of having some good uh, pointing with the payload bay cameras and we were able to enjoy that with you <laughs> 